Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I will show you how you can make use of a tool called as profile in the Sketcher workbench. So to start, let's open up the part design workbench. And uh, let's directly get into the Sketcher and create some basic sketches. So when you're working with uh, large AutoCAD files where you, you have to import uh, big files and then you have to extract informations from it and do some features on it, etc. It's a tedious task to uh, you know extract each and every element from it and uh, do the uh, padding or uh, pockets or whatever so in this case for example if this is the AutoCAD file which you have imported and you have to do uh, a pad for a pad each for all of these elements how would how you would do is you can get inside the sketcher and you have an option over here called as a profile feature which is there in the tools toolbar so the toolbar name is tools so Firstly, just click and click on any of the profile that you would like the output to come. So before that, let's just have a look at uh, the uh, specification tree. So as of now, we have the absolute axis, geometry, and the constraints here. So once you click on the um, profile feature, what happens is you get another option here that's the outputs and uh, you, when, once you click on this it gets uh, thicker and click on OK and that profile is being created so once you exit the sketch what you can see is the profile is separately created so this is something like you could uh, you could do an extract or, and uh, that will work the same way but this is better than extract so in this case, if I hide the sketch, I still can see the, uh, what do you say, our profile. So once I unhide, I'll get into this and I'll just uh, do the same procedure for the remaining openings. If I double click, then I'm going to, um, I should be getting... I'm supposed to get that right now we got all the profiles being created now you could hide this sketch if you want and you have all these so once if you do the features every features work so in this case I'm not gonna do the features for all of them because uh, there is a time constraint also that's working as a factor here so let's just uh, try the next or let me explain the other feature here okay now okay let me hide all this and uh, get inside the sketch and give a different radius for example 10 all right exit the sketch and you can see that uh, the pad follows whatever changes we have made here so that's the best part about the profile so this is a simple tool and uh, it's very helpful and maybe as of now if you follow this it, it might not be of a good help but just keep this in your uh, stash because this is going to be uh, very helpful in the future so that's all for this particular part. If you have any comments, just uh, put it below the video. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.